I thought I'd have a go at making a wooden box with different compartments for all the different sorts of tea bags we seem to need in our house. I was thinking something like a fairground tent shape, maybe with alternating colours. And I had a broomstick and some cheap half inch ply and some fancy veneer finish ply that's the thinnest I can get here. I started off by drawing an octagon on the computer. It has slots for the uprights and a hole in the middle for the broomstick. For some reason, getting the XCarve software to accept the design didn't go as smoothly as usual. But in the end, it did cut it out just the way I wanted, only quite slowly. This is speeded up five times. And the broomstick fitted perfectly. I only had a vague plan after that. I tried a piece to go in as one of the dividing walls, just to see how it looked. By the way, it seems this is the best way to set the depth of the cutter. Wind it down till it just scratches the surface of the material you want to cut. The little tabs hold the piece in position till the end and they just need cutting off with a knife. This first one was a bit tight but that's easily rectified um, in the design on the computer. I really want to avoid screwing on eight pairs of flap hinges so I want to try a pin hinge made as part of the lid might work. Looking at a project in reality, even at this early stage, changes everything and I decided it just didn't need the central pole. So I went back and redrew a wall that spans the whole base with a little handle on the top. Thinking two of these fitted together would work with half length radial pieces like spokes to make all the eight compartments. In fact, the first one needed trimming to get it to fit. All part of the design process. So far, so good. Now for the lids. The first lid I made nearly fit, but the tabs that act as hinges were too short so the lid fell off when it was wide open. So I made another one, which also didn't fit. And then I made another one, which did fit. The hole in the side can only accommodate one hinge pin, so that leaves a problem. Two adjacent lids can't share the same hole. So I need two holes in each side, and that means two different size lids. Because the pins will be in different places. The second one needs more cut off the bottom edge too, so it will open fully. Again, that needs adjusting on the computer drawing, so the CNC machine knows how to cut them out differently. The small side pieces are also slightly different depending on which lid they fit under, but that wasn't too difficult to figure out. Looking at all the pieces I had by then, I decided that the original base was too thick and heavy, so I cut another one out of some thinner marine ply, this one without the hole in the middle. 
And here it is, and all the parts just slot together. No glue or screws needed. I just turned over every second piece, and I think that was enough to give the contrasting colours. Licorice and spice. Mm, sounds nice. I checked the others. Lemon and ginger. Star anise and cinnamon. What you I did think I could flat pack them and sell them through our online shop. But they're too fiddly to make and they end up costing too much money. Also, you can't actually get many tea bags in each compartment, so perhaps it should be a little bigger anyway. But all in all, it was an interesting project and a relatively quick design process, thanks to the amazing CNC machine and um, quite a lot of head scratching. Phew! After all that, I could really use a cup of coffee.